radical expression is not considered simplified if it contains a radical in the denominator. And to eliminate a radical from the denominator, it's called rationalizing the denominator. So for four divided by square root seven, if we want to eliminate the square root of seven from the denominator, we would have to have two factors of seven underneath the square root rather than just one. So the idea here is we multiply both the denominator and the numerator by square root seven. This is the same as multiplying by one, but now the denominator is going to simplify perfectly. If we multiply, we're now going to have four square root seven divided by the square root of seven times seven. And now because we have two equal factors, this simplifies perfectly. We would have four square root seven all over seven. Now remember these sevens will not simplify because this one's underneath the square root and this one's not. Next we have square root six divided by square root fifteen. Now we could try to simplify this first, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. The one thing I do find helpful is to write the radicands in prime factored form. So I'm going to go ahead and write this as the square root of two times three divided by the square root of three times five. And now if we want the denominator to simplify perfectly, we need two factors of three and two factors of five. So we'll go ahead and multiply the denominator and the numerator by three times five. Again, notice how this is going to give us two factors of three and two factors of five in the denominator. And we can also see the numerator is going to simplify as well. So let's go ahead and multiply. Here we're going to have the square root of two times three times three times five. The denominator is going to be the square root of three times three times five times five. Here's a perfect square factor as well as here and here. So the numerator is going to be three square root ten. The denominator is going to be three times five or fifteen, but I'm going to go ahead and write three times five because now we have a common factor of three here and here that would simplify. So we finally have the square root of ten divided by five. In our last example, notice how the denominator is a cube root. So for the denominator to simplify perfectly, we would want three factors of two underneath the cube root. And since we only have one, that means we'll have to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the cube root of two times two. Notice how this will now give us three factors of two in the denominator. So now the numerator is going to be five times the cube root of two times two or four. The denominator is now going to be the cube root of three factors of two, which is a perfect cube. So now we're left with five times the cube root of four divided by two. We'll take a look at some more examples in the next video.